as that I have. So, my friends, we have been talking about the four root causes of the weakness. Root cause. <coughs> When these weaknesses are present in the mind <coughs> and the intellect has convinced that they are good for me, <coughs> then we live in intellectual fantasy. <coughs> there is an emotional fantasy. You know, you see the dream. There is a dream. <coughs> dream and then you wake up and the dream is gone. But my friends, this intellectual fantasy does not go. It wheels over all the thought, speech and action. A beggar was begging in the street. Monk saw him and the monk felt intuitively that there is a treasure <coughs> in his home. So he has to go back and find that treasure. I don't know what is happening to Brandy is not able to join anyhow. So, so the monk went to the beggar and said, go back home and uh, explore that treasure that is lying inside your, below the, your bed. Beggar said, don't disturb me, you know, I'm at work at night. This is one example of intellectual fantasy. We convince ourselves that we are made for suffering. Don't disturb me. Don't teach me. So when we live in that intellectual fantasy, <clears throat> it is very dangerous in our life. We are going deeper and deeper. Once, you know, I'm picking up something from the Gita and once we understand that, you simply understand and apply in your life. And you will see the life has changed completely. How many times you were upset? That is why I ask you how many times you were upset, sad, reacted since the last session. We are learning part by part. Intellectual fantasy says, I have learnt everything. Are you getting it? So a teacher knows the part, he teaches the part, but he knows the whole. And we are always in a hurry to become whole without knowing the part. That causes an intellectual fantasy. <clears throat> we need to understand how ignorant mind works. And that is pointing to the four root weaknesses. Can I give you another example of intellectual fantasy? <clears throat> Should I go by car or a flight? Logical question. To New Jersey. Uh, example, or to meet Ted. So what the intellectual fantasy does, should I go by car or should I go to New Jersey? Did you understand? This is what happens when we learn a lot. We understood the principle, 
but we do not apply these principles when we do not oh you got it are you getting it <clears throat> I asked you that I should I go by flight and car logical question so over intellect because it does not understand the question in the presence of these root weaknesses so our mind creates that fantasy should I go by car or should I go to New Jersey it's a wrong logic one guy asked me I don't want to name him or her <laughs> otherwise they get upset <clears throat> do you know dating apparatus no we are dating with the real self and you're asking me do you know the dating apparatus so now I know your entire frame of the mind where you are moving you're not paying attention this is another intellectual fantasy So should I tell them straight away? No. <clears throat> no. Why no? That I will answer. And it is answered in Gita in a beautiful way. So now see that what happens about the four root weaknesses. We have a desire. What is desire? Is a memory. It is likes and dislikes. <clears throat> So here we are not talking of the unbinding desire. We are taking a we are talking of dating apparatus. <laughs> when that thought comes, I should ask myself what I am searching for in my life. Peace, happiness, love, truth, and wisdom. And the Eastern wisdom says there lies inside me. I need not to go outside. You can not make one unit of happiness with 10,000 units of pleasure. What is pleasure? Pleasure comes in contact with an object or a person or an event or a situation. It will come and go. but that memory does not leave me. <clears throat> so that memory creates a desire. Yesterday I was giving a lesson, private lesson, and he was telling me, <clears throat> I divorced and now I still talk to my ex. You know, I'm still related to the ex. Why you left? Why you left? No, 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 but now listen to me. He told me, uh, she, she told me that, you know, uh, she is very happy with her two kids and there is no problem at all. And now I'm feeling very upset. She is living happily. Why you are upset? Because she is, li she is living happily without me. That causes me the upset. Why it causes the upset? Because my ego is hurt now. And ego is the main source of these desire fast. Now he 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 got agitated. <clears throat> I explained to him, then he calmed down. This is another level of intellectual fantasy. I constantly live in that intellectual fantasy. Uh, this beer guy is saying, what is right? Well, happiness is inside, then what happens? After the session, I start searching the pleasure outside. I am not caring my life. Am I a little tough today? No, it's a fact.
So the four root causes, and do you still remember the Narada started his journey? Where we all are. I gave you the story of the Narada. Do you still remember the monkey face? So when I'm searching for happiness in the name of the pleasure, no, when I'm searching pleasure, no, you're right. I'm right, I think. And when I'm searching happiness in the name of the pleasure outside in object, in people, in things, I have a monkey face. My mind is to totally distracted, agitated. So first it is distracted because it is searching for a happiness outside. <coughs> And because there are millions of the thoughts, there are 10,000 units of the pleasure I have experienced before cannot be equated to one unit of happiness. So then what happens? Agitation in the mind triggers, it triggers. What is that agitation? It may be in anger, it may be I, I become upset. Now look at this guy, he is upset because she is living happily. No, no, I thought that I must continue uh, the communication. Hell with your communication. You are getting stressed. Understand. Be very clear. We are losing our day to day. So the two root causes, this is what Narada experienced in his life. He reached to that state of awakening. And then he wrote the text. That is the way to explore our life. We are happiness. We are peace. It cannot be undone by anyone. It is done only by us. How? These four root unbinding by first by the binding desire, second by the hesitation. I get stressed. I gave you a real life example. And then prob the biggest problem comes in life. We know that this pleasure is not happiness, and still we go after it. Ask why? Ask yourself, why? <laughs> why we go after it? I know. And that is why I open the topic of intellectual fantasy. dream you know you you we dream for five minutes or an hour and when we wake up the dream is gone but this intellectual fantasy does not leave us the moment we wake up in the world one example i'm very busy that's why i did not attend the session why where you are busy you drop the intellectual fantasy and see whether you are busy or not. You are busy only to get pleasure. You are only busy to suppress the pain. I'm just mixing up the teachings of the Gita so that we I'm laying a foundation. Now I have desire, which is memory, likes and dislikes, which gives me a short term pleasure. And I gave an example, 10,000 units of pleasure cannot be equated to one unit of happiness. My mind is not ready to accept this. So when the mind is not ready to accept, <clears throat> it gives a triggering thoughts to the intellect. And then the mind takes over the intellect. Oh, it's okay. This beard guy is just simply talking about his. Oh, it's okay. I will continue to have all the pleasures in my life. I am not saying don't go for the pleasure. It's important. We learn from our experiences. But I get obsessed because of the memory, because of the likes and dislikes. That causes the hesitation. And from that hesitation, now the hesitation in the mind triggers you triggers you and that triggering factor causes the repeat desire that repeat desire is known as the greed 
and now you're doing the practice and your mind is not ready to accept it so there is a lot of confusion in the mind so where the confusion goes it gives you a fear ah fear 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 and that fear again creates a vicious circle you go for self medication so this guy which i'm talking about he told me that let us have a session every day i said no first get rid of the intellectual fantasy i should have got more money we we are always mindful i said no let us have two maximum three sessions in a week but you have to contemplate so he started contemplating and reflecting deeply fear that fear factor whether you say desire whether you say agitation whether you say repeat desire or whether see you fear they all live in the mind constantly live in the mind that is why i say please listen to it it's not that i am my voice is very sweet i look like a uh, mr or mrs miss universe you have to listen to it so that these principles settles into your mind when they do not settle into your mind then you will start looking at dating app now i'm not telling the name of anyone who told me <laughs> <laughs> no sometimes people get upset you know and they say you know you have insulted me <coughs> you are insulting yourself <laughs> you are insulting the beautiful life my friends you are insulting your beautiful life because you are not using the intellect which has a free will i can make a choice i can i correct i can correct the mistake so when that knowledge settles in the mind you sit in meditation one session is necessary now we will understand how to change that if you do not change your behavior and attitude you do not change your lifestyle it will never happen if you see that you know i will sit down and close my eyes and everything will happen and i have heard about the ostrich you know when they are in uh, someone is attacking they put their beak and their neck inside the ground so that they can save themselves ultimately they are caught and killed that is what we do that is why the 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 speedy change is not happening in our life <clears throat> so now see that how the mind with the inter intellect with the intellectual fantasy mind with the desire uh hesitation repeat desire and the fear works they have to express themselves at the physical level at the emotional level at the intellectual level this is that that is how we live our life do you agree it's a fact what is inside me it will come out directly or indirectly so i have to become aware what physical contribution i am doing in my life every day you see i'm connecting all the dots what is physical contribution you resolve that you listen and practice every day that is your physical contribution no no i have understood it <laughs> i have understood the inter knowledge is not settled and i am doing the same thing again and again so the one factor is very important the first the physical contribution second is the emotional contribution to your evolution what is that emotional contribution <clears throat> 
Instead, your mind is thinking something else, blaming and complaining, reaction, anger, and anxiety. Let me think emotionally about my evolution or about the evolution of others. Today, I'm going to talk to my honey in a softer and gentle way. Today, let me see how can I contribute, how can I share with him or her or with my parents, with my children. You, I have to think in that way, emotionally, and then you act on it, whether your son or kid or parents. Are you understanding that what I'm saying that how to get rid of these four? If you simply say that I will close my eyes like an ostrich, uh, I have a lot of fear, let me practice meditation and the fear is not gone. Fear is not gone, it will increase. <laughs> I, I think uh, it is famous about the ostrich, you know. When they are scared, they put their neck inside the ground to save themselves from the enemies. And the enemies are already waiting. The moment you take your neck out, caught. That is known as dating app. <laughs> <laughs> so, it doesn't mean that you should not uh, speak your mind because if you do not speak your mind I cannot uh, help you <laughs> you should be open <laughs> uh, very interesting so physical contribution do you remember physical contribution emotional contribution so I'm I, I'm emotionally thinking how can I share? How can I express my love and emotion to my near and the dear ones? Consciously you are thinking. So it means when you are consciously thinking, you are not attached. When you are unconsciously thinking, you are distancing yourself. What does that mean? Look at my son, he is not listening to me. I have told me him a couple of times. I know it is going into the head of those people <laughs> who share their experiences. <laughs> emotional. So that is emotional contribution. And the intellectual contribution that after listening I have to think. Can I tell you a simple way, at least for a couple of times, for five or six times, even for five minutes, sit down, watch your mind, and you, from the intellect, you say to yourself that I will not entertain any thoughts which has an element of likes and dislikes, and let me check what state I enter into it. You do it only for a week. And you will see a tremendous change in your life. You will see that level of your fatigue drop down by 90 or 100 percent. Another intellectual fantasy is that I'm awfully busy that will drop. Why? You, your mind makes you feel that you are busy. There is an emotional content in it, into it. And that emotional content brings all the four root weaknesses in our life. It's a little, not complex, but it is little uh, difficult to understand but when you listen to it again and again physical contribution you don't leave the practice emotional contribution you start oozing out your pure emotion how it can happen only when I think in uh, our last session you know someone asked a question of Dennis in the last session, oh, love is different, and uh, you know, you talk very logically. But uh, but what about the emotion? 
A simple answer. Where the emotion and reason lives? It lives in the mind. Or you have two minds. One compartment of the mind deals with the emotion, other deals with the logic. <clears throat> I think I am sad, then I recognize that emotion that I am sad. Do you see that? Let anything happen to the mind. Don't think. Don't give a thought. Will you be sad? <laughs> Will you be sad? Traditional master says that daily you should do one thing that you don't like. But you must do it. You don't like a one thing. You don't want to do it, but that is the right thing to do. You must do it. A traditional way of doing it. What about the hesitation and triggering and being upset? Instantly tell the mind you are thinking this is your way of finding the solution. There is another way also. So the ego will not force the hesitation to continue. Are you getting it? You're angry. So being angry or hesitated or that trigger comes, everyone should do it my way is the cause of my hesitation. My dad is not listening. My son is not listening. They are born because of they should listen to you. Maybe your friend. Maybe your honey. So we start living in our own shell. And that impedes the growth. And the repeat desire. Repeat desire means I'm collecting, I'm accumulating. The way we accumulate wealth, to some, to a, some extent, accumulating the wealth <coughs> makes sense. But you, are, you want to accumulate the units of pleasure. Not possible. It, will, it cannot be converted into happiness, but it will continue to create more and more desires. Are you understanding that point? Difference. To a greater extent, wealth, accumulating the wealth may help you. To, to a phys, at the physical level. But I want to accumulate. That is what the repeat desire is. So I have to become aware of at that particular moment. Otherwise, this is going to disturb your future life if you are young. Where people like us, we have already destroyed our lives. So. <laughs> and the fear, fear, there is only a fear of the death. I want to bring an end to the talk. That fear because of the other three factors comes due to the ignorance because that desire that hesitation or a trigger and the third factor is the repeat desire they superimpose themselves on my real self the real self is fearless but superimposition creates a false identity I start living as a false self and the false self that I am the body and the mind and the pleasure and losing them is the fear of the death. So the fear continues in our life. Think. Think. Now I'm already thinking about a lot of things in my life, you know. That's why I have been busy. 
if thinking makes you busy you are crazy i'm sorry to say and if the thinking gives you a clarity a sense of conviction in your life what happens you are free my friends think you have to constantly follow these you know i gave you a clear understanding physical contribution you know normally what happens you know okay i have done meditation for two weeks you know nothing is happening what happens to 23 hours because you are not contributing emotionally you are not contributing intellectually you are not contributing the last one i will talk later but i give you what happens when you do all this then you realize that you are not an individual entity made because of the ego you are a part of the whole existence and that dissolves your ego completely and the ego is gone you are free that is the fourth contribution that is where the eastern wisdom points us to close your eyes let us <coughs> Eyes and being comfortable. Did you find any change in the practice? It's, it's a very subtle, but now I will make you aware. Eyes are closed. Make your body adjust and align, and you are comfortable. Now you don't find too much of struggle in being comfortable and being carefree. So in the last session, I skipped these two steps, being comfortable and being carefree. If you have noticed, if you have done it regularly, you will notice it. So you're just sitting, okay. You're listening, okay. You're comfortable, okay. You are carefree, okay. That indicates the change in the mind. <clears throat> Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu. I'm skipping being comfortable and being carefree. You are already there. And that is how you progress into meditation with knowledge, with understanding. Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu. Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu. Let everyone be happy. May there be happiness for all. And we have already understood a different ways. Why I explain differently to help your intellect to drop the fantasy. Happiness is my essential nature. It is the essential nature of every living species. Everyone is searching peace and happiness, whether they have a free intellect or not. So conclusion is what? Two, uh, two types of conclusion that <clears throat> any time I have a sense of anxiety, I'm looking for the pleasure outside, I should take my mind inside. And second, if one is fighting with you, one is reacting to you, oh, he or she is not, he's not they are not understanding that happiness is their nature. And they want to be happy by being angry, reacting, blaming and complaining. It is not their fault. It is because of their ignorance. What happens? You become humble. Your humility pacifies the agitation of others. Are you? I believe you all are getting it. We don't understand the importance of these mantras because of the intellectual fantasy. Oh, and I understand it. I know the meaning. I can explain it. It doesn't work that way. Sarvesham shantir bhavatu. Sarvesham shantir bhavatu. Sarvesham shantir bhavatu. Let there be peace for all. Same example, same interpretation. You are thinking intellectually, bringing an emotion 
to yourself and living the world living in the world outside by thinking and acting and speaking in this way you are getting rid of the four root weaknesses you need to connect them how by understanding by constant contemplation and reflection if you cannot do it if we cannot do it i don't want to say anything sarvesham purnam bhavatu sarvesham purnam bhavatu sarvesham purnam bhavatu let there be completeness in me can you really imagine and now i was talking about the intellectual fantasy you fantasize this you fantasize that you are complete in yourself and the fact is that we are all are complete in ourselves this fantasism will take you to the reality and we unnecessarily fantasize the other stuff are you seeing the difference between the two sarvesham mangalam bhavatu sarvesham mangalam bhavatu sarvesham mangalam bhavatu let there be no speciousness for all <clears throat> sometime we have a wrong notion do you they ask me many students ask me that oh, do you want me to repeat this when i don't have a feeling that i am complete in myself you repeat it so that you will have a feeling you have done it outside you saw a person emotions triggered how you express it sarvesham mangalam bhavatu let there be auspiciousness for all so we are not leaving it with that state of the mind and the clarity of the intellect that understands that the breathing helps me to purify the mind it get rid of those notions that contains these four weaknesses and i can help myself so now you you have that pattern of thinking is much more than the breathing itself and then you do the breathing you look inside the forehead in the space there you drop om shanti and you start breathing quick and short breath from the rib cage pay attention that you have an expansion and contraction of the rib <laughs> continue we are doing it for 3 minutes and let the time come we will increase it to 6 minutes and then we will see what happens after that 9 minutes now we will leave that why we have reached to that state <laughs> continue om shanti now you also watch and experience the body continues to live in the being comfortable and carefree the breath is going on its own there is no objection coming from the mind and that is one of the most beautiful state
and stop it. Do you remember after stopping, you simply remain aware, you recognize any reaction, any changes, any feeling, any sensation. So then let the mind relate the breathing with the change in the experiences in the sensation in the beginning. And any reaction, if there is no reaction at all in these three steps. <clears throat> Inter intellect will say, I cannot do it for six minutes, but you can do it. I'm just helping you to explore the level of intellectual fantasy in it. Oh, this guy is not going to listen to me. No, it is possible. Om Shanti continues and starts with the belly breathing. It's a longer breath. <laughs> Expansion and contraction of the belly. <clears throat> Continue, my friends. Your belly is moving outside and inside, or I would say expansion of the belly and the contraction of the belly. Continue, <clears throat> continue, inhale and exhale into the belly, Om Shanti continues deep inside your head in the space. You see intellect, I'll talk, just talk about it once you complete the breathing. And now stop this. Again, what you notice, you are extraordinarily aware. You pick up the sensation you experience. You have noticed the objections and the reactions. So those reactions and the objections either come from the, these four root weaknesses or come from the intellectual fantasy. So now you have a clear understanding and you want to get rid of it. So what happens? You have a will to continue. No, we have been talking about if you have a right intention. That is what is happening in our life. Keep on doing Om Shanti deep inside the forehead in the space and start breathing this time both from the belly and the rib cage. <laughs> Mm. 
Long deep in the hissing breath flees. Om Shanti continues. And somewhat you are aware that you are comfortable and carefree in the background. That is the most important thing to notice. And it is happening. I know. I see that. <clears throat> Continue. Continue long deep in the hissing breath from the belly in the rib case and stop it. Do nothing. Again, when you do nothing, actually you are aware of the situation, of the experiences of different variety of visions in the colors, let it happen. You are a witness to it. And now in that state, start breathing this time very with extreme awareness and attention. You are breathing deep, silent, slow both from the belly and the rib case. First point of awareness, no, no, first point of awareness that since say, uh, being comfortable and carefree. Second point of awareness, deep, silent and slow breathing. Third point of awareness, the moment you start inhaling, you move the mind from the top of the head, singing another point of awareness, Om Shanti. And the Shanti ends at the tailbone, your exhalation ends. As you, uh, no, uh, your inhalation. As you exhale, the breath is rising up and the mind is singing Om Shanti. And the Shanti ends at the top of the head. So when you are saying Om Shanti during inhalation, you are pacifying, you are dissolving all the four root weaknesses and the fantasy. That is why you say Shanti at the base of the spine. You are not worried about those chakras. It will happen by itself. And when you say Om while rising, What you say, you are installing Om Shanti into an ignorant mind, dissolving the superimposition. That is the entire journey of Kundalini meditation. Done differently, steps are different, but we have added the step here. <clears throat> The master of Kundalini meditation realizes that you do not live into that awareness, you do not want to understand. So that is why they have sometimes seven chakras, nine chakras, sometimes they have 13 chakras.
No, leave this. Look inside the cave of your heart. Visualize the triangle in any color. Equilateral triangle. Pointing apart. And you already know. But just, just a reminder. Awareness of uh, being comfortable and carefree. Awareness of calmness and peace is already there. I want to transcend the peace. To know the peace fully. That is why this step is. And with... You move the mind on each side of a triangle, dropping Om Shanti casually as a play and a fun, moving the mind. And you have to discover that it is sinking perfectly, clockwise and anti-clockwise. The mind is not objecting. And if that happens, then you sing, Om, oh, now you are pushing the mind, you are above the mind. With saying, Om, oh, deep inside the cave of your heart, and drop Shanti, do nothing, you see a kind of self-absorption is there. Thought may be there, who cares? Did I say, do I say you to pay attention on the thought, or do I pay attention to the practice? And when the practice is done, kind of self-absorption is there. From that absorption, the word reincarnation in different religion begins. We will talk about it, what exactly is this, when we take up the teaching of the Gita. Now leave this, we'll continue with the Japa 16 segments and start Om Shanti in the first segment. But what is the quality? Mind's eye, mind's ear, mind's touch. And that's why you feel different sensation. Om Shanti. Your dropping Om Shanti brings the sensation of the touch of the
fine become so soft when it goes through the sense organs it becomes the heart we'll talk about that continue Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Bring your awareness on the right hand Your awareness on the left hand Lift your both the palms Place it on your eyes Open the eyes inside Know your experiences bring the hands down we'll share our experiences and if you have any question you're welcome to ask how are you Stephen? oh good uh extremely fast um and when you started chanting the uh om shanti there at the end i actually had a sense of disappointment and immediately uh uh discerned on that 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 means i have desires and uh likes and dislikes so uh, drop that. I, I was just completely absorbed from the moment I closed my eyes. Um, I, I remember struggling even getting into the first uh, fast breathing aspect, um, and I just fell into a very dark, um, quiet space with no thoughts whatsoever until I heard you start chanting the uh, Om Shanti. So very nice. Beautiful kind of a self-absorption. I just pointed out that once we reach to that state of the self-absorption, then we can understand what it means by reincarnation. And that we will talk. It doesn't happen outside, it happens inside. But when you are in the state of the self-absorption, it also means that intellectual fantasies has dropped down completely. Wonderful. How are you, Jerry? Sir, I'm good, thank you. Um, the meditation went by very quickly for me as well. Um, I think I may have fallen asleep a little bit because I, I um, was prompted by the second stage of the breathing from yeah. you, so I feel like I missed the first stage of the breathing, so I may have fallen asleep. Um, and I... I thought I'm going to try for the week um, uh, looking, um, paying attention to the mind and, and without any um, yeah. attention to the likes and dislikes that might be there and see what happens. Beautiful, so, Jerry. Like that. That's being a seeker because when I apply these principles, you will start seeing the result from the day one. 
by these four steps you are dating with the entire existence you wake up in the morning you date with the body means the five elements emotionally you have an emotional connect with the people and including your pets also why not with the nature then the intellectual appreciation minus likes and dislikes that is what the jerry is saying so then you will see that individual entity dissolves simply it is not there we try to fight the ego with the ego not possible make it sure it is not possible it will never happen how are you brandy <laughs> beautiful it wasn't fast, you know, but I've been working on kind of slowing down, so that that's good. And I realized, um, probably going back to the triangle, that the steps, it's like you're in real time with the steps, you really can get to that place of self-absorption, of politeness, and so I did achieve that, which is always great, and, you know, that's Be the purpose. Beautiful. I think, you know, all the first three, participants always they pointed out a kind of self-absorption now follow these four steps you can be self-absorbed by following these four steps at any time even when you are active what happens to your ego it is not there you expand how are you Dennis Fine, Guruji, thank you. Uh, the meditation was calm and quiet as, as usual. There was no struggle uh, from the mind throughout the practice. Uh, I was, uh, there, there were some thoughts, I was observing them, uh, and I noticed that uh, it, this kind of observation helps to reveal what the mind wants to cling to. The, the, the objects, the, the, the thoughts that, that the mind tends to uh, tends to cling to, so that it, it, it makes it easier to, to resolve these issues, remember and resolve these afterwards. I think. That's a good point. You know, everyone, when you're sharing your experiences, you are not helping yourself, you are helping each and every participant. There is no struggle, what he said. And then the, when you remember, the mind is no, mind knows. Ah, leave it. Leave it. Beautiful way. How are you, uh, Barbara? I'm, I'm very good, thank you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Thank yes, you. yes, yes. Uh, I was having a problem with my computer in the beginning, and um, so I just missed part of the session, but I didn't feel agitated, which shows growth for me, because ordinarily I would be agitated, <laughs> and the meditation was, was wonderful. I felt very light and very much at peace. Good. You see, everyone's mind perceives the same words, same practice differently. So this is another type of the growth. She rightly said that I'm not hesitated. Let whatever happens in the world, let it happen. Who cares? Well, it doesn't mean that while crossing the road, you should be mindful. Don't uh, misinterpret. How are you, Sam? I think I need to get on these dating apps, seriously. Huh? I think it's a good idea. I think I need to get on these dating apps. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> um, um, this is the first time that I think I've gone through this whole sequence without ever feeling any resistance. Good. Usually there's a moment or two where you know, I'm doing the breathing and there's a second of a pause or um, during the japa I'm doing it and then, you know, because we we get so deep by that point, you know, there's usually a pause at some point. This is the first time I was able to go through 
the whole sequence without uh, any type of pause. So I Beautiful. think that shows some, some growth and endurance. Growth and progress also. When you sad, you are totally absorbed. So you have to differentiate or means discernment. Going to that dating app gives you 10,000 units of pleasures is not even equal to one unit of happiness. So once your intellectual appreciation of the journey is there, you need not to worry about the mind, what it is thinking. It will change. Wonderful. Christina, we have Christina, two or three people. Yes, Moria. Thank you. Thank you. Um, a deep um, absorption today. Um, and I had a question. Yeah. You mentioned when you feel anxious, or maybe you're noticing the legs are just like to bring the mind back. Where do you bring the mind to? Where you bring the mind to based on your temperament. If you have an intellectual temperament, start thinking from where the anxiety has come. The root of the anxiety has to be a desire and desire has to have a likes and dislikes. It comes from the memory without bringing anything on the, from the memory in the mind, I cannot have an anxiety. So what is going to happen? That is an intellectual appreciation. That is what I talked about. The third, you can also have an emotional. Oh, my nature is peace and happiness. I have not to worry about it. But your mind is looking within. I am of the nature of peace and happiness. Or you can repeat the practice. The first one. So the four steps. Physical sitting and doing the practice, emotional appreciation, intellectual appreciations to get rid of the intellectual fantasy. And what happens? The moment that individuality drops, there is no anxiety. I have an anxiety that I is not there now because you followed the three steps. What happens? Nothing happens. You are free. How are you, Terry? <laughs> I mean, I get it. I did, I did this whole practice. I love everyone uh, is sharing the same experiences. Sort of, uh, proud of the, uh, proud of myself because I did the whole thing. I didn't fall asleep and I didn't struggle. I didn't do everything perfectly, but I didn't worry about it. Beautiful. And I, I had a, a light. Feeling lightness, yeah, yeah, not, not light, but like not heaviness. And I, and I have almost constant anxiety, and I real I experience it as a physical sensation of the processes of the body. Although right now it's gone, and it's I gone. A, I had a strange idea at one point I felt like I was made of paper wonderful wonderful yeah, it was so great. I could see uh, your hands uh, are moving so normally you are talking normally no one can notice that you have such a severe problem now see follow these four steps even you have done the practice Follow the emotional appreciation, intellectual appreciation, and you see that that individuality, that center of the eye drops, who says I'm suffering from this disease? And then see the result. This is what happened today. And if it can happen all the time, we are done. Yes, you got it. Well, I'm so happy. Thank you, those who gave me an opportunity. Uh, to talk about the dating app. So that's how I personalize each and every session. You know, it helps me. I'm not going to reveal who did it. So, uh, how are you, uh, Webber? Uh, thank you, sir. Sir, I'm good. Uh, mine was free, was not giving anything, was very calm. 
very calm. Good. That's another way to explain the self-absorption. Ashok, if you speak, you can say that. If Terry can speak, you can also. We don't hear you. Beautiful, beautiful. You are recovering very fast. I'm so happy. Very good. How are you, Sangeeta? Good. Good, you know. Very good, yeah. She doesn't like to talk and you see, understand, please, I'm summarizing the, the, the first is the physical. So physical means I'm repeating the practice. I'm listening and repeating. Second part is that emotional. What my mind is thinking all the time, unwanted thoughts, unwelcome thought, can I replace it with pure emotion? Obviously, I'm a human being. I can do that. Now, I don't want to do that. I go back to all the same old stuff. I'm repeating again. 10,000 units of pleasure experienced during the last five years is not equal to one unit of happiness. Can you? Do you agree? Then comes the intellectual appreciation. What happens? Because of the first three steps, you need not to fight with the ego, it melts away. And that is what majority of you, almost everyone share that, ah, it's a kind of total self-absorption. And it has come because of the knowledge plus the practice. Thank you, my